Trajectory's demise creates a notable plot hole in The Flash. In Season 2, Trajectory accelerates beyond her physical limits and disintegrates into pure energy. Caitlin attributes her disintegration to the overuse of Velocity 9, a speed-enhancing drug. Fine. That makes sense. Trajectory's disintegration implies a speed threshold, beyond which a speedster's body cannot withstand, leading to self-destruction. Yet other speedsters have surpassed these speeds without such fatal consequences. For example, to stop Trajectory, Barry has to run at Mach 3.3. This suggests that Trajectory's disintegration occurs when she attempts to match or exceed this speed. Meanwhile, Zoom was prancing around Earth 2 Central City with Velocity 9 in his system, at approximated speeds of Mach 13 without suffering as much as Windburn. In Season 3, Barry had to equal Savitar to save Iris, and this speed should have been higher than Zoom's Mach 13, considering Barry could barely see Savitar when he moved. In the same season, Wally West can run faster than Barry, which means he also reached similar speeds. And even after achieving these speeds, Eobard Thawne can still run circles around Barry in the future. Plainly, all these speedsters have run faster than Trajectory at one point in the show. Oh, and Barry too. Everyone is faster than Barry, who laughably introduces himself as the fastest man alive in every episode. So anyway, why don't they self-destruct like Trajectory did? The one thing these five have in common is that they have a connection to the Speed Force, so let's assume the Speed Force protects them. Seeing how Zoom started losing his speed which is sourced from the Speed Force as a direct result of using Velocity 9, and how Trajectory had speed but no access to the Speed Force while on the same drug, we can make another assumption that Velocity 9 cuts the connection between a Speedster and the Speed Force. If this is the case, I wonder once more. Where are the consequences for Zoom running around jacked up on Velocity 9 at freaking Mach 13? And speaking of the Speed Force, let's get into some of the wild inconsistencies surrounding it. If the Speed Force is the governing body of the Speedsters, how come Barry gets his powers taken away for going back in time to save his mother and for asking Wally to save Iris, but when Zoom is running around dropping bodies of police and innocent civilians while terrorizing entire cities on multiple Earths, also using other metas as target practice for more than a year, he gets a free pass? I mean, the Speed Force only interferes when Zoom messes with Barry. I know the Speed Force appearing to Barry as his mum is metaphorical, but sometimes it behaves like it's actually Barry's mum and everyone else be damned. Also, if the Speed Force is a natural universal force with a mind of its own that facilitates super speed, how could Reverse Flash create his own Speed Force? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and like and subscribe for more. Until next time, Godspeed.